Welcome everyone, and thank you for taking the time out to learn more about how inventorying your art can benefit your career. Now I am sure many of you would rather be back in the studio right now creating, but we really hope to make this brief time out worth your while. My name is Justin Anthony, and I'm one of the founders of Artwork Archive. For those of you who aren't familiar with Artwork Archive, we're an online resource that's been providing artists the tools they need to get organized, save time, and run their businesses for nearly a decade now. And today we're going to be talking about inventory management and how it can benefit you. And we're going to start with the what and the why. If we have time, we'll get into the how. And a lot of this information we're going to be discussing today comes from the experience we've gained over the years, and we're going to be using our product in some of the examples. There are definitely other inventory programs out there. We just happen to be a little bit biased. One other note before we get started is that we will be pausing throughout this presentation to reply to questions that have been sent to us on this topic over the last week. And because we've done one other version of this, some of these questions may overlap. So a few of you may have heard these questions before. So we will try to cover them as quickly as possible. So let's start with what makes a good inventory system. And first and foremost, a good inventory system allows you to track the information that's important to you. And this can be anything from the basic information about your work, like the title, the medium, the size, to more in-depth information on the work's full provenance, where it's located, where it's shown, what exhibitions has it participated in. And beyond the work itself, you also have information that involves your contacts, sales, and personal documents like your CV, bio, or statement. Another trait of a good inventory system is to make sure that that information is accessible anywhere on any device. Being bound to a single device or location is really limiting, and it doesn't fit the needs of a modern day artist. A good inventory system should also make it easy to generate assets with little effort. And when we talk about assets here, we're really referring to things like wall labels for an upcoming show or cut sheets, certificates of authenticity, any other documents or images that you need to share. And lastly, you see our little engineering joke here. Um, it should be easy to use. You'd rather be in the studio doing what you love than behind a desk trying to figure out some complicated new tool. So ease of use is really important when choosing an inventory management solution. So let's jump into some more specifics and we're gonna start with how inventorying your art can help you get organized. Throughout your career, you're going to be creating artwork after artwork. And by inventorying that work, you really are building up a living archive of your career. And the benefit of that is having all that information at your fingertips. So here's a little screenshot of the pieces page. And actually, I am going to jump into the product itself so you can see it live. So here is our pieces page. You know, it's kind of a easy one-stop place to look at all of the pieces you have in the system. And I referenced before that benefit of having things at your fingertips. So what you're looking for when you're evaluating inventory management systems is, does it make it easy to search? Can I sort, meaning can I display this information in a way that's really gonna be beneficial? You know, if someone's just looking for a low price item, you may want to just sort from low to high. Um, if someone you want to see some of your more recent work, you can jump on that here. And then can you filter? Can you get to what you want quickly? So when you're filtering here, let's say I just want to see pieces in my studio, or I want to see all the pieces I've sold or donated. And you can even group things by collections, type, subject matter, etc. The bottom line is, Filtering gives you a really easy way to find what you're looking for more quickly. Just to go back to that pieces page really quick, this happens to be in list view right now. You also have the option of viewing things if you're wanting a more visual representation in gallery view or presentation mode. And presentation mode comes in really handy when you're on a mobile device or sitting with a client and just want to go through some of your work live. So being organized not only means you can access information more quickly, but it also means you can get that information in the hands of anyone that may have interest in you or your work as well. So making sure that all of these assets here are easy to share is also something really critical when you're doing inventory management. And outside of pieces, 
As an artist, your art isn't the only thing that needs organizing. As your career grows, you're going to be generating sales and working with different clients and participating in shows. And tracking and recording that information means knowing where your pieces are at any given time, where they've been, and even making sure you don't miss critical dates like submission and pickup deadlines. So let's go back into the product and look at an individual work of art. So here's a more detailed view of an individual piece. You'll see that you still have that basic information you saw in list view before, but here I can also see who did I sell this to, the client's name, the details of the sale. I can jump in here if I want to see a copy of the invoice or anything like that. I can see where it's been, so I can see the location history. I can also see the show history. And this is particularly handy when you're dealing with situations where you're submitting to a show and you want to make sure you don't submit the same work twice. So the system will let you know if that's going to happen. You'll also see a particular feature here called additional files, and I'm going to be getting into it a little bit later as well. But the basic concept of additional files is that you can associate any file type with a particular work of art, a client, or a location. So in this particular case, this looks like these are photos from that Tate show. And as you know, many times you'll get asked for different versions of a photo, maybe it's resolution, maybe it's a print version or a web-only version. Here's another size of this particular image that I can easily send to the client that may have been looking for this. Um, another question we received on this topic, um, and this has come in from a number of people, was whether or not the system can be used to organize other documents related to their business. So the answer is yes. And you see over here on the left, there's this My Docs feature and our MyDocs feature gives you the ability to store multiple versions of your biography, statements, CVs, and other file types. And I'll include a link at the end of this with more information on that topic. And, you know, I mentioned before the ease of sharing. There's always a triangle next to any document or image or anything in the system that allows you to view it, download a copy for yourself, copy the URL if you want to share it, or email it directly to the person you're interested in getting it in the hands of. So let's back, go back to the presentation and talk about how a good inventory system can help you save time. So we just kind of ran through how getting organized can help you find the information you're looking for more quickly, and that in itself can be a real time saver. But there are also countless documents you're called upon to create. Gallery labels, consignment reports, cut sheets, certificates of authenticity, all of that can take a great deal of time to compile and create when you're piecing together that information. If it's not all under one roof, that can take time. If you're having to use multiple programs to create those reports, that can be a big time consuming process. Um, right here on the right is an example of one of the most popular reports in the system, and it's called our inventory report. And a lot of people use this for cut sheets or pricing, um, or just to give a gallery or a client, a quick visual representation along with some details of the work. So the great thing about the inventory report is I can choose all of my work, some of my work, or a particular subject matter, and really easily generate this report with the click of a button. Another really popular report I'll show you quickly is our portfolio page. And this is really when you've got one or multiple pieces that you want the image to speak more than the words. So this has a more prominent image, which is in high resolution, and the details below. And what you'll see throughout the system is we really have a wide range of reports that are made to save you time. In addition to kind of the standard reports for gallery labels and the ones I just showed you here, I also have the ability to go into individual pieces and create things like certificates of authenticity or invoices or sales reports or location reports. You can even go into things like shows and create a full report on every piece you've entered in a particular show. So being able to generate those reports at the click of a button can really be a major time saver. There are also a number of finance related things that can be major time sucks as an artist. And being able to quickly generate professional looking invoices can speed up the sales and payment process. And tracking and, report, or, and recording sales information 
also really makes tax season a lot more bearable and simplifies the accounting process. So over here to the right, we've got a basic sales report. I'm also going to jump back into the product and show you our sales page really quick. So when you click that sales tag on the left, you're going to be taken to a screen that basically is a history of all of your sales. Once again, with any of our screens, I can search through specific sales, I can sort, and I can also filter if I want a particular date range. Let's say I just want to see my sales for 2018 or 2017 for tax purposes. I can filter those out, run a quick sales report, and really have that stuff that can you know, simplify the uh, accounting process, as I mentioned. I also can go in and click on individual information about a particular sale, see all the details, and get information on the client, where I sold it for, and even regenerate the invoice if I wanted to do that as well. Um, we have got another question on this topic, and it is, do we have any direct links to accounting software? So the short answer is no. Um, we've got artists from all over the world using different, whether it's QuickBooks, FreshBooks, you know, Quicken, you know, any number of accounting process or any number of accounting software. And so what we've decided to do instead is we provide the ability to export all the sales related information into a common spreadsheet format that can be used by any of the major accounting software. So let's say you use QuickBooks, you'd simply generate the report and then you'd import that spreadsheet into QuickBooks and it would populate it with all your sales related information. So we've touched on how getting organized and saving on the on the getting organized and saving time side and now I'd like to get into how inventory management can help you run your business like a pro. So good contact management helps you build and maintain strong customer relationships and having a system that can track information on past and potential clients is absolutely critical when growing those relationships. Over here, you've got a screenshot of a contact page. And actually, once again, let's just look at this live. Um, th this is the main contact page. And not to be redundant, but you do see the search, filter, and sort. That's common with pretty much all of our pages. Here you also see a groups icon. You can create groups similarly to how you can group your paintings in a number of different categories. You can group your clients, your gallery contacts, um, you know, curators or appraisers or anything. You can create a group and segment these contacts in whatever way you want to for ease of organization. You also can go into an individual client, see their contact information, and also see their past purchase history. And so if I want to see what have I sold to her, what types of works has she liked, what were the details of those sales? This is all at my fingertips here. I also mentioned that additional files functionality before when we were looking at a particular work of art. Here's another example of how it can be used in association with a contact. So with Antoinette, this looks like an old commission contract for a commission we did for her. And this is really great because you can reference this anytime you need it in the future. And it's always stored and associated with Antoinette. Another thing I mentioned before about good contact management and following up can be handled with our reminder system. And if I click add a reminder, I can set specific reminders that only are associated with Antoinette that will help me make sure I'm staying on top of following up. So staying on top of those deadlines and client, uh, timely client follow up is definitely a key part of being professional and having a system that notifies you about those critical dates is a great way to make sure you don't drop that ball. So, you know, we were just in there looking at this particular notification. I can go to my schedule tab over here and you can see upcoming notifications. So there are two types of notifications in the system. One is automated and the other is general. And the general ones are the custom ones you create for yourself. So that could be, you know, follow up with Antoinette or make sure to buy X, Y, and Z from Blix or something like that. The system will also generate automated reminders for things like shows. So if I look at a particular show, the second when I'm creating that show that I enter a submission deadline or notification date or any other critical date, 
the system will automatically generate a notification. And this is really neat for preventing yourself from missing key deadlines. It is really hard to stay on top of things and the last thing you want to miss is a chance to be in the show. So this helps you do that by making sure that these reminders are sent to you via email at the beginning of the week that they're due. And we have another question on this topic and it is, let me read this. Are the reminders, can the reminders be synced with my own calendar? So you'll see a little calendar icon here on the right. And that is basically what you use to sync this particular calendar item with your phone or with your you know, Gmail or Outlook or whatever calendar system you use. So that can be handy to not only get the email reminders, but also to get the follow-up reminders that are automated toward the device you use most, say your phone, for example. So lastly, we're gonna to quickly touch on an often overlooked benefit of inventory management. And that's the insights that can come from it. Having all this information and data in one place means you can leverage that data to help make informed decisions about your career. Before anybody's eyes roll into the back of their head about data or me getting overly nerdy here, I really think that you know, so many of us are visual people. And even though this is data, having a visual representation of it, I really think can help. And being armed with all this great data also can really help make informed decisions about your career and take the bias out of some of those things. If you want to see you love a particular gallery, but they're simply not performing for you, you can see which galleries are most performant. You can see how your work is distributed. Um, and our insights tab really does a good job at giving you a bird's eye view of a lot of things. You can even get into details on sales versus production over time and another, um, a, num a number of other aspects related to your career. So if you do decide to check us out, the insights is one of those things that just gets stronger over time. The more you feed the system, the more valuable the information it spits back out. So that was a good bit of information to cover in a short period of time. And I really appreciate all of you guys hanging in there while I drone on here. Um, I think the summary is that the right inventory management system can help you get organized, save time, and run your business like a pro. And one other thing I didn't touch on a lot during this webinar, but it's something we talk about all the time internally and with our artists, is the more subjective benefit that comes with inventory management. And that's the reduction in stress that comes with being organized. As an artist, you need to be an entrepreneur, a marketing professional, an accountant, a small business owner. You have all these hats you're wearing all while still having to create. So do not underestimate the peace of mind that comes with knowing you have your stuff together. So few more questions that I want to go to before we wrap up. One of the most common questions we've gotten this week comes from people that already have a system in place or are coming from another system. And it basically boils down to whether or not they can transfer that information. So there is no question, the entering data can be time consuming. No matter how easy we make it, and we do try to make it really easy, it does take time. And we'd hate for you to lose the hard work you've already put into any past inventorying efforts. So if you do have a past system and you can get any of that information into some sort of spreadsheet format, chances are we can import most, if not all of that data, and we do imports every single day from countless systems. Um, and, and it can definitely save a lot of time. For those of you without any kind of system, one of the most common questions that come up is, how much time is this gonna take me? You know, another, another common question about this is, how do I even get started? So this is case by case. And you know, what I tell everyone, regardless of whether you are just starting out or whether you're an artist that's been working at this for 30 years, there's no rush. We recommend starting with your newer work so you can get, like, so you can immediately start getting value out of the product and then take advantage of those rainy days to get some of the older works in. Um, you know, we, we've also received a number of questions from students and artists and, you know, er, early stage artists or just artists in general that are in earlier stages of their career. And the most common question from them is, isn't this just for established artists that have been at this for a long time? Um, 
Our answer to that is yes, it is great for established artists. But what any of those artists are going to tell you is that they wish they got started years ago. So just like having the right brush or paint helps improve the quality of your work, arming yourself with the right business tools early on can help accelerate your career. Another thing those established artists will tell you is that it only gets harder to remember things as time goes on. So the sooner you have a system in place, the sooner you are tracking information that's critical to the growth of your business. Um, another really popular question that we've got because everyone thinks about sales is will inventorying my work have an impact on sales? Some of that answer depends on what you're doing with the information. But in general, art collectors like to know the story behind the art they're collecting. And if they're deciding between two similar artworks by different artists and one has a documented history, which one do you think is going to pique their interest more? If your artwork comes with a complete exhibition, competition, and publication history, it's going to be a lot more interesting than art without a story. You know, I know personally when I'm looking to purchase something, I really like to see a description. I like to see more details on just what I'm seeing with my eyes because it helps me have a closer relationship with that piece and feel like I've got a better understanding of that artist. So this isn't guaranteed, of course, but what we've seen over the last decade is it really does tend to play out that way. The other quick thing I'll mention here is that it's really important to think beyond just the inventorying of your art itself. Keeping track of clients and relationships can definitely impact sales. And we have really seen some impressive results lately from artists that are specifically marketing to past clients and working harder to build their database of potential buyers up. A few more quick things and then I promise I'll let you all go. In the event you are interested in exploring whether or not Artwork Archive is the right inventory tool for you, I would recommend going to artworkarchive.com and exploring the free trial. There's no credit card, there's no anything, you got 30 days to explore all of the features. If you need more time, great. Let us know. We're happy to give it because we want to make sure that this is a tool that you genuinely feel will benefit you. Any questions or feedback or comments you have, please shoot a note to info at artworkarchive.com. We love hearing from people. Also, one of the things that's not mentioned on the screen is our blog. It's artworkarchive.com forward slash blog. Katie and the rest of the content team put out some fantastic content. We're working with experts all over the world that have great advice on how to advance your career, and there's tons of tips and tricks, so it's really worth checking out. Also, we've started doing these videos at YouTube to get a little more in-depth to some of our features, so that's worth checking out as well. Thank you again for taking the time out of your busy days to participate, and please don't hesitate to reach out with any questions. Thanks.